Dale Hurd has the story from Paris. In a northern district of Paris, a brave shopkeeper named Marie Neige Sardin guards her little newsstand like a military fort. As a white woman, she is a minority in this mostly Arab-speaking Muslim area. She's been the victim of dozens of crimes. She's been raped, robbed, and had acid thrown at her. She says it's a campaign to get her to leave. But Neige, the daughter of a French soldier, calls her little shop a piece of French soil inside occupied territory and she says she will not leave. I can't bear to tell my future grandchildren that I have done nothing to preserve our French values, so staying here is marking our territory. German Chancellor Angela Merkel now admits that multiculturalism has failed. British Prime Minister David Cameron has said it too, and they were talking specifically about immigrants from the Muslim world. The left's multicultural dream in Europe was to give Islam a special place in society, with no requirement to assimilate. Multiculturalism has encouraged Muslim radicalism and Sharia law. It's leading to a new tribalism, with groups organizing along religious and ethnic lines. In cities across Europe, only the police stand in the way of open street warfare between groups. In Paris, in Sweden, in Denmark, and in Britain. France has some 751 no-go zones. The French government labels them sensitive urban zones. But what they are is dangerous to whites and non-Muslims who enter. French intellectual Guy Millier. It means that it's part of the country where uh, the police don't go, the firemen don't go, and even doctors and uh, ambulance don't go, uh, except if they have no other choice. And it's like that because these parts of the country are in the hands of drug traffickers, gangs, and imams. And that's led to the formation of groups who oppose Islam and want to protect the white native French. The leader of one of those groups, Philip Vardone of Bloc Identitaire, told me they're training their members in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He sees a dark future. Now, our government, our politics are leading us to war. Vardone complains that the white majority is treated like a minority by the government, marginalized politically and victimized by immigrant crime. So there is in one end the political speech saying, okay, Everything is okay. Oh, it's so good to feel the difference, to live together. Uh, it's a um, communion. It's perfect. And it's, on the other end, you got the truth of what people are feeling. Uh, they are feeling like if they were uh, themselves foreigners in their own country. France has made some high-profile moves against Islamization, such as outlawing the veil. But in Marseille, we saw Muslim women wearing full burqas in front of French police officers who did nothing. And we saw Muslims blocking the streets illegally for Friday prayers. Marseille is France's second city and today is one quarter Muslim. But there are parts of Marseille, like this area, that are almost completely Muslim. Some of the no-go zones function as microstates and are governed by or under the influence of Islamic Sharia law. French journalist and author Alexander Delval. And yes, we, we, we see our society is splitting and dividing between those who are Muslims, those who are blacks, and those who are white. I asked Delval where he thinks the situation is headed. It's very simple to know it. It's a civil war. It will not be a real civil war like in Spain during Franco, you know, in those years. No, it will be a kind of local civil wars. I think one day it will be so unbearable this situation that the state will be will be obliged to send the army there are today in Europe many victims of multiculturalism like Marie Neige Sardin people without political voices people afraid to leave their homes Marie told us she could not just surrender do we want our daughters to wear veils in the future do we want them to live under Sharia law do we want stoning to be practiced no it is not possible I want to be the symbol of no the symbol of stop Dale heard CBN News Paris uh, you may wonder